Welcome to Great Books for Thinkers and Seekers. Today's book opens with, It was the best of times. It was the worst of times. It was the age of wisdom. It was the age of foolishness. It was the epoch of belief. It was the epoch of incredulity. It was the season of light. It was the season of darkness. It was the spring of hope. It was the winter of despair. We had everything before us. We had nothing before us. We were all going direct to heaven. We were all going direct the other way. In short, the period was so far like the present period that some of its noisiest authorities insisted on its being received for good or for evil in the superlative degree of comparison only. This historical novel was published in 1859 by an English writer who is considered by many to be the greatest novelist of the Victorian era. Contrasting themes initiated in the opening lines continue, death and resurrection, darkness and light, imprisonment and revolution, class divisions and social justice, vengeance and forgiveness, all with the hope of being recalled to life and being transformed both individually and societally. This remarkable story is set during a turbulent time when those ruling are out of touch with the common people. The author masterfully conveys an event of immense complexity set in two cities during the French Revolution and the Reign of Terror, through the telling of a family history, helping us to sympathize with characters on every side as the conflicts draw toward a great climax. The closing utterance is as memorable as the book's opening. I see a beautiful city and a brilliant people rising from this abyss and in their struggles to be truly free, in their triumphs and defeats through long years to come, I see the evil of this time and of the previous time of which this is the natural birth, gradually making expiation for itself and wearing out. It is a far, far better thing that I do than I have ever done. It is a far, far better rest that I go to than I have ever known. This great book for thinkers and seekers is Charles Dickens's A Tale of Two Cities. See you next time.